Thank you for sticking it out until the end of the conversations program. Uh, we will actually switch to Chinese when we start our conversation, but I just thought in the name of language equity, I could begin uh, in English. Um, one week ago today, in fact, we were very pleased and honored to open at the Ulan Center for Contemporary Art, which for those of you who don't know is a museum located in Beijing at the heart of the 798 Art District. Um, a really amazing show, and that is a show that's simply titled Wang Xingwei, um, and that is a mid-career retrospective of, of this artist's work. It contains something like 74 of his paintings of a total of a, just over, or just around 200 that he's made. Um, Xingwei was born in, in 1969 in, in China, in uh, the northeast of China, and has been between the, the northeast and Shanghai, and then finally Beijing over these years, but has gone through quite a number of phases as he's explored his uh, practice as a painter. And, and actually, the, the interesting thing about this exhibition is that the idea for it and the structure for it grew out first of an idea for a book. Um, and that is, in fact, the book that ultimately you, you, we see and have with us today. Um, but it, it allowed us to, to do some really wonderful things with the show. Um, so I'm going to, just so you have an understanding, um, just like this um, title of this talk is called Back, Front, and Sideways. This is actually because what we decided to do for the book uh, was not to divide the works by chronology or by subject matter, but rather simply by the relationship of the painter to the painted, or you could also say the viewer to the viewed. Um, and what that means is that the exhibition is actually in three parts that consist of rear views, uh, profile views, and then finally frontal views. Um, and that this then has become a way of organizing uh, this, this amazing output uh, of Xingwei's as a painter. Uh, actually, we're talking about, uh, let's talk about our starting from the base from the exhibition, or we can talk about it from the book. Now, we actually, we actually talk about a base from the book. From your, all the artwork before, let's say the front and they actually, basically, your idea, where did it come from? Actually, from the uh, painter, our artist's view. So what is it related to as a painter? The Basically, when I was in the Shanghai, first beginning, I actually did a one for myself, for my design. Actually, the first one, it was uh, all Actually, it's a notebook or no word. It's all my work is the first one. It's in the cover. You can see it's about the uh, uh, no name on it. It's only the design. So it's only, only the title. But at the end, yeah, so it's the first page is actually the same as the same design. So no name behind. It's basically it's on a, a design basis. So. So it's from first page till end, the page is all about just design. Actually, after I painted it, and at this time, so I, I was thinking about, I want to input some uh, word, input some, uh, uh, that was my thought. So I won't follow by, follow by the first design uh, concept and then the proceed to the, my artwork. And then after I was uh, thinking about what I'm going to do with it, I'm not going to be follow, let's say, is it some kind of another series I'm going to follow to the same type of work or not? So is I use the, some of the uh, series, I use the special material. So when I do it, I won't do it exactly the same way. So you actually develop to the looking for the reaching uh, time, and then also uh, titles or the uh, the message about all the material. But in our exhibition, and starting from this paint, for two painting. 
but most earlier stage, we're thinking, consider about the, for uh, exhibition, we need to have some uh, title that came from the one of your painting. Interrogation of a penguin. Then actually we are we are holding the title for a long time. But I actually from starting from exhibition, we I, I think this is a very strange uh, kind of uh, the image. But of course I'm thinking about. I think this is a little bit. This is what you wanted. But I I don't want to think. Um, including uh, for exhibition when I was entering. I don't want to get let people think, give the message, thinking is about a one uh, when, when they enter it. Because, but when they start the exhibition, when you have the design, I actually eliminate those for for it's related to the, any uh, the arts or whatever, so so in my series in this series, because this is all the nineties, yeah, it's uh, almost the middle centuries, uh, yeah, almost ninety three, ninety four is our work, so it must be uh, is a kind of some uh, is a representative of your early stages of work, so most is the first stage when the uh, very early comer. So it's like you can see that some uh, peoples and, mm. so if you see that from exhibition, that you can see the, uh, so when we see that this object, this is you, right? In this picture, this painting. So, let, let's say, for this painting, it is a very special about it is, because they use, they use the um, every page, but they actually they put together. So you can actually see the uh, the page by page to get a parallel. So so that time, I think. So every set and the behind, they have a, and they have a, there are lots of a different more uh, type of artwork. But I consider there are too much I can uh, consider about it. Is that every series I have a, a probably about twenty pieces. So you can see from the uh, the early from the front and then back and something like that from. For this two paragraph, to two paintings. I think this is a very good exhibition. It's one of the way to express yourself. So let's see the left side. It will be you use the uh, the lots of a very smart way to to multi-tone leaders to to create it. And then the right side is about it. If it came from the uh, uh, Frigic, actually, it's a one of his uh, masterpiece. So if in the way we look at it, we can think about a very uh, very clearly, it's not just about the art. It's about the two different time and two different the backgrounds, and then uh, you can see the two different backgrounds. And then you can see you can see the new series. This is a uh, uh, so zero nine. They isn't contented to the regular life. The one is uh, playing the soccer ball, or you can go for traveling. A actually, it so was for self. You can see that from the two paragraphs, all different presented a different life, a different time, and different background. So most of the inside is contented. Is like a self-portrait. I think when you have a chance that you can see the exhibition, you can feel it. Uh, for through this, the first one, for the exhibition, you can see that from back, from the sideway, and then you can actually to reflection, the people can be feel. This is, must be came from different art the artist. Is this uh, is this the most of artists that can ask you that kind of question? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Uh, especially 
when you come to the, this uh, exhibition, they said, oh, wow, this, for this creator, they must be, <laughs> came from a different, in a point of view, they, for this stage, you can, you are started showing a lots of, uh, it's not a human, not, not a per portrait, and actually it's a, uh, Yeah, you know, it's all different objects. For this series, you can we can talk about it is because it's it's kind of objects a question mark is a very stronger on that. Um, no matter we so you can see that from the objects, not really. I didn't use any portraits. The more stronger is in the question marks. This is the most of it is when you're staging when you're in Shanghai. Right, right. Yeah, I, when I was in the Shanghai, Shanghai is gave me a more, uh, it's almost like a two, three years or two, 2003, 2002, that time. This series is a kind of very interesting. This is also, uh, we're talking about, uh, talk about art analyzed, and there must be something related. This is a very special, unique piece. This is about, um, it's like a, it's a cultural history museum. It's almost give you that kind of feel of the image. You can talk, you can look at it about the, uh, from very men from beginning stage, fairly early, and then from the cave, and then they work hard and come up to the, this uh, modern society. So this image is a give it to you, it's a lots of a background of a history, and then it's that time in a, kind of a describe of the old history time. So if you, so if you can see the uh, the right side, the final is a. Uh, so if uh, for one uh, lady, one woman, and then is a group um, society kind of thing. If you see the pictures, the paint there, you can see is uh, contented with the modern and also the history. Almost you can see those kind of things in the uh, history. Uh, museum, something like that. So for me, exhibition, this uh, painting out, uh, when one is a very famous creator, Yang He Ting, maybe he, ha maybe he hates my painting this series, that's why he never proposed to having a... This is like super technical, and I've probably has all gotten lost in translation, but this is a quadriptych from 1997. So, going left to right are kind of like textbook style illustrations of human progress, starting from monkeys in the forest onto a slave society. But if you read right to left, the uh, the art historical references go in the reverse direction. So it's it's in in order from right to left. It's Monet. Um, then it's it's a pun on the large glass, a, a, a bachelor and a bride and her bachelors. But also the, you see the uh, cracks in the large glass if you get close. Uh, boys talking to the rabbit uh, at the center of the plan. And then finally Jeff Koontz's uh, Made in Heaven series. So, this, in a way, was a culmination of a whole period of work that was uh, looking really closely at, at Western art history. Um, okay, this combination is very interesting. So it's the, called the uh, standard expression for people who were born in 1989. So it's very interesting. I think it's quite a very interesting artwork. So I found another one is also, it's called uh, Eastern Red. So it's uh, some people are driving the tractor, the, the characters. So n not uh, the people uh, maybe 10 years older than you, maybe less than 10 years old, maybe old, uh, six or seven years older than I am. There are some uh, figures or characters. I think um, I've been uh, engaging in a lot of talks over the world. So this time, uh, finally, I can see the original the art piece, I'm very glad. I think the world have 
not some bias, but they have some misunderstanding of Chinese artists. Maybe Mao Zedong, uh, uh, looters, uh, or bald head, uh, or smile, smiles on the face. Uh, maybe not so many people uh, really understand Chinese artists. So I think uh, Chinese um, art and its content are not really under, be, uh, not really uh, understand understood by the outside world. So from your point of view, so when you look at contemporary art, did you see any uh, thing that you should, you would like to share with us? So I think that's the doubt from Lei Yingting, not from me. It's the curator. Uh, it's the curator's doubt. Because I remember very early, and that he proposed or she proposed this uh, question. And uh, yeah, it's relevant to your quest. And you just mentioned that, and uh, you said that you you did you didn't uh, hit uh, these people, but uh, you just uh, a bit of suspect and a bit, of, and yeah, it's a bit of question about uh, um, and, uh, and the significance or importance of this. And then you just mentioned that. And even uh, Li Xianting himself was a bit uh, mm. uh, wondering about uh, what he is doing. Mm. Um, yeah. So because of that, and I, I did uh, uh, read one of the articles and uh, uh, it's interview possibly, and and about and Li Xianting is it's mentioned that it's Da Lang Tao Sha. That means uh, the the history is like the big waves. And then the sand and the gold, it's separate. Yeah. So, and he is a bit uh, wondering about. Uh, uh, so, as an artist or as an individual, and uh, when you are in the in this big art environment, actually there are a lot of changing uh, occur around you. So you need to really try to feel these changes. A few days ago, Eunice um, had a talk, and Dai Hanzi had a talk. Li Xianting, for himself, This is one part of his uh, uh, doctrines. <laughs> um, actually, we have a lot to talk about. And just now, we have seen uh, some artworks. And so it's a kind of um, deception. So when we try to uh, exhibit or display them, we try not to uh, influence its deception. So for some, um, we can see the repetition, repetition of some things, and but we can see some uh, changes uh, invo get involved in the, all these uh, series. So for instance, uh, this the poster of this female. And then the change of the cover, and they, they they use the same poster, but the environment are different. See, this is a uh, this is a boating. See, they have the same poster. It has uh, a, this image have show up for several times, but then there's something a little bit something uh, changed in 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 the later version. I think and. Uh, I think that's the connectivity. In there are some connectivity in my art, and and this consistency is also a main factor in my artwork. And we can see this uh, female image. Uh, that is old lady. This series is a typical series of mine. So in fact, when I uh, do my creation. I will not design in at once, and I would know that I will have uh, consistent uh, images in my different artworks. I just make one 
made the first painting. And maybe later I will have an, an, an idea to to draw or paint a second uh, art, art piece, or maybe the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, or sixth one, or more, or eighth, or even ninth, or even tenth, but no more. That's that's the maximum number. So, there is an uncertainty there because you never know uh, if there is a next painting coming out. So every painting, for me, they are unique. So for this uh, old lady series, take it as an example. Maybe there was some change. Uh, that the, maybe some people think that this picture is the latest one, but actually it's not. Maybe it's the, it's the fourth picture or the first painting. So I didn't arrange all these paintings uh, in a logical way. So the Matisse collection or series Matisse also uh, had a lot of art pieces and artworks, and finally he chose the simplest way to express his art. So there is no purpose. There is no uh, simpler way to do my creation. I just follow my feelings. And one more thing, I know that you don't like to talk about it. So what are your inspira uh, inspirations that comes from, for instance, this old lady? What he's, so he, she, he, she's just, um, so somebody gave you a leaflet, and the leaflet, this image actually was on the leaflet, and then you took this leaflet back with you at home, and then you spend a lot of time to consider uh, uh, if you other, whether or not you want to use this image to create your artwork. So if you didn't, if you didn't went out that time, uh, that day, then you may, maybe this uh, uh, painting would not be existed right now. So. Yes, I I really pay attention to each opportunity. So some people want to give you some money, or some you you pick up a wallet from the floor. Uh, I think uh, I will not uh, let this uh, opportunity slip away. We all know now that we ha have another exhibition, Du Sang's exhibition. Maybe Du Sang is a very influential figure in Chinese art society. And Du Sang, um, uh, I'm not sure I, I saw the, 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 the exhibition in Shanghai. He had a big uh, board. And maybe I misunderstood at that time. His meaning was, from my understanding, is to uh, accept what people give you. These are some. These are. This. I think they have the same inspiration or have the same source. Uh, when I was in Shanghai, and I found I bought a, I bought some uh, homework from a high school student. I bought two drawings from this student, and and the drawing was really bad. Maybe that's because of the model. No, they had the same mistakes when they uh, draw the uh, when they paint the painting. So uh, you also talk about what you always mention one word that's uh, stupid. Uh, you also talk about the importance of to be stupid. So if you look at this picture, you can see that actually this man is not actually on the boat. Is he's. He's in the water, so as to show his um, sincerity to this female. Actually, he can be on board, but he chooses to stay in the water. 
Yeah, there's enough room for him, I think. Yeah, so when you try to curl um, or woo some uh, female, maybe you will just give your jacket to her when she feels cold, etc. Why you draw the um, angry nurse? This is my daily experience. So when we get angry, uh, we have our own reason to get angry. Angry is a way to express your uh, impressed uh, importance of your existence because So when you can you can try to balance something by uh, express your angry uh, emotion and let people to pay attention to this angry nurse. If so, if you. If your expression is very gentle or very mild, maybe people would not pay attention to this figure. But if it, so there was one article uh, in this uh, album, and he wrote a passage in this uh, album. He wrote about 20,000 words, and he's mentioned that When you use these figures and characters, you won't just regard regard them as symbols. You won't uh, think about their social status. You just he just I, you, they describe them as actors or actors in a play. They are just uh, acting their own part under some certain of uh, environment. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, they in some extent they like actors and actresses, but of course they are not the best actors and actresses. Uh, in a, maybe they just uh, played in one shows and then had no time to change their makeup or change their costumes. Then they you play in another play. Of course, they are maybe they are not the best actors or uh, actresses, but they just um, try to do their best to perform in the, this play. So uh, I think there are different purposes uh, for painting. Uh, I think we have uh, various purpose. Therefore, later. Sometimes I will misunderstand myself. Uh, when you look at my early art pieces, uh, no matter readers, audience, or even myself, I would uh, um, I would uh, describe something to the audience or to describe some uh, idea to the uh, others. But then actually, that's not the idea I was supposed to express. So when you consider one thing, you need to uh, consider this uh, with cautions. So in this exhibition, there were some uh, words uh, from you. There were some very interesting comments from you. The most uh, interesting one would be, I think we have printed it on the back of your book. I see the artists as a postman delivering letters. He should not be overly curious about what's inside Everlows. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, OK. I can just explain to you f uh, uh, right now from my own point of view. I think the artists, 
and art have some relationship, but they also need to keep a distance from the art. For myself, I don't. I think when some art has its value, and we should not think about its art value too much. We need, we should not be influenced too much by its art value. We should forget all this art value. As artists, they should not think of the uh, art, art value of your own work. You should not evaluate the what you are doing. There is um, another comment from you. The, first of all, you are a painter, and and you think the painter and uh, artist are different things. So, do you have any? Uh, can you explain more? So, do you have any doubt? Can you share us with uh, your view on this? Why artists and um, paintings are painters are different? I, I'm not talking about that uh, a painting has a higher position or have a higher value than art. I, uh, maybe I can say, oh, art is even greater than the life. That's not what I'm saying. I think this uh, represents one angle or one perspective. And so it's, we cannot really compare these uh, things on uh, equal footing. So you can also say, oh, uh, the painting is like this star, this big, and then the life is like this big. I think uh, it's, it's all about angles and perspective. Uh, you study uh, in a remote place. You're actually starting uh, education in uh, Beijing, Shanghai, and then some other area, and then more uh, small scale um, schools educated. I've been very curious because that time you've been learning lots of the different um, the area, and then you actually have yourself in the chance, and then you uh, estimate, and then you jump over the more uh, different environment, the things that you want to go for. it. You actually know your goal at that time, and then you actually uh, put yourself into it, your expectation, and uh, you look, you went for. For me, I think um, the most uh, mentor, if I can give it to me, it should be the Van Gogh when I was still in the college. And uh, for his Van Gogh, <laughs> very familiar. <laughs> Really? But at that time is also the uh, I mean, there must be something in different view. Well, when I was in the college, I was contacted with the Bao, is like a Chinese modern new art at um, that time. But I was, I was a mostly still in a sketch that time. I would. You think you didn't went back to the school and then that theory to teach, and then become an artist. Let's say you went back to the young May and then. You are actually thinking about a uh, artist education in that theory. Are you still believing in it? I don't. I don't, I don't believe the artist education. I actually believe in myself in the painter point of view, because the standard, um, I don't think I can guarantee. So, you know, there's lots of uh, uh, art education. I'm not really familiar with. Uh, I'm not really interested in that. But for painter itself, I. I think there's no such uh, certain rules and um, definitions. So, it, you know, for me, I don't see that point to two differences are connected. Uh, so let's say that the for foreign overseas example, 
I mean, what I did something, maybe some people don't understand what I'm trying to do. But anyway, for if you think about the uh, to consider the equality, so it came from everywhere, like it came from global, overseas, Chinese, East and West, or something like that. But actually, because when we look at it, so much the art, um, your artwork, or some technical way, and then for your education, or is that will that be? See, it belongs to your you by yourself, or actually, does it belong to somebody? Well, from now the, at this time, the, the high quality educate uh, paintings. Uh, it's not really, I think, is uh, related to the culture value. The only thing I think is uh, high quality is. Um, it's nothing to do with the uh, design of the high quality design architecture so, or painting or anything. For me, I think I, I look at it very extreme. The art is not so what you think is the way art is, or what I think of what art is, maybe are two different things. Well, not only I remember the ones you said, I, I don't quite understand. Because you made uh, one washroom, but well, why? But that's because because um, my friends is uh, from uh, one construction uh, contractor company because uh, they did it because they have a four back or something like that. Uh, so all oh, is from that time because I I don't think we have enough time. So let's uh, we move on to the audience to uh, ask some few questions if audience have. I noticed that your pictures seem to be reminiscent of certain, like, earlier type of art from Europe. So how did you, you know, become interested in this? The very beginning, when I was a kid, because I, I, I like painting when I was a kid. It's just natural. Uh, when I was in college, um, I met the teachers uh, who are very supporting me. So when I started uh, from Shanghai, and then up till when I started working, uh, about '93 after, when I '92 I left to the college and then uh, I went to the teach. But that time, so not much uh, people that that takes their workload. You know, because my parents never went to the school, so my parents kind of very supported me. So it's a for, so I never met, um, so I never have a doubt on myself and uh, so I like to use, so, so for me, some those type of things, because I, I came from from school at the society, it's not much like my brothers or they interested to uh, you know to do business or to experience. And my experiences are mostly is for um, is by the book. Or about the history book. Anyway, uh, for because I passed such a long time, and in the real life, I felt the loss of experiences, and I think that this is a, a kind of a very uh, process for simple life that I had when I was a kid, and then able to for me to look look forward to it. Any artists you particularly admire or style of painting? The, this time is keep changing. So, well, I always uh, like the one particular what a different time in different place and what I like. You're very selfish. So my name is uh, Wang Xinwei. Uh, so I actually play soccer. 
I have a big question I would like to ask you, because you will is uh, the mister, because you have such a complicated uh, different style, and how how do you to recommend is an uh, artist to the client? Uh, he's not production is too much the uh, and he always like late. <laughs> It's uh, definitely not possible to do it one uh, through one art fair, so it needs a lot of communication, a lot of ex uh, um, exchange of thoughts, etc. As you just heard now, I was not quite sure what, ev what you said today, because the, my head uh, sets are not really quite okay. Anyhow, it's like I think it's very, very important, and it helps a lot if you, uh, for example, read a book or read a, a catalog of uh, Wang Xingwei, because we made the experience that even collectors following very closely what happens in the contemporary art world took them a while to understand the complexity of, of, of his work. So it takes a while. I don't think, I, I don't think it's a very complicated thing because it, it's a your own world. But you step into it in a short such a time and then you actually process and moving forward. But this book is, is actually is a starting from very good um, material, um, uh, especially in the Zhang Li at that uh, title and at that chapters in the Raphael. Uh, they put the lots of the personal and they contacted with the communications and something like that. Actually. Uh, in the book, they're written very detailed from early stage and how we use the material, how we use the historical, how you implement it together, and how you deploy, and all the all the subjects together, and then you put it in a book. So it gives you much more detail and have you the review to it. Then actually, sometimes the one kind of artist is um, not necessary is uh, you speak for your art for your own, so you critic your own arts, and it's not necessary. So actually, you step back for your as artist. Um, so I think an exhibition, uh, having the exhibition, maybe it's a, as a kind of a good way to you are representing yourself um, to the one big circle of uh, audience. So I think in here. Um, we would really like to thank you to participate and uh, having this experience and sharing with us. And uh, I think it's the two persons especially we want to thank you, Isa from Milo, um, give you all this support and the great cooperation. Um, it's a very touching. And then I think he left already. I don't know where he's sitting. I think he's a one audience here is called Laura, and he she actually is the editor about this book. I don't see her right now. so. But actually, I would like to introduce or um, thanks for the person personally, but I don't think she's here. I'm very happy. And then you're finally your, your artist that are reading the book and the published the book lounge. So actually, we already have outside some people want to be purchase your book. So can you sign your autograph your book? Okay, thank you so much.